Uh, I'm about to go to a meeting. What if this car doesn't start? What if it breaks down along the way? What if I get stuck in traffic? What if I can't find parking? What if I show up late? What if they don't like what I have to say? What if they reject my idea? What if, what if, what if? We all know that stress, anxiety, fear, phobia, they're all based on one giant what if. As Mark Twain once very wisely said, I've been through a lot of terrible things in my life and some of them have actually happened. So this is the nature of what if. All the stress belongs to what if. But how about this? Is what if only stress, fear and phobia? Or could what if be something else? What if the car works great? What if I find the most perfect parking? What if the meeting goes fantastic? What if they love the idea? What if the perfect scenario happened? So this is the amazing thing about what if. It can totally be turned into the positive. Because we know that if we really visualize and imagine things very clearly, this body and mind doesn't know the difference between what's clearly visualized and what is real. So, you know, the principle of the law of attraction, I believe, I'm not an expert, but I believe it indicates that when you really visualize, imagine, feel, accept, appreciate, it is already happening, the laws of the universe, the energy, the information, the intelligence just rearranges itself to make that outcome manifest for you. Now, is it true? Is it not true? It's not for me to say. I warmly invite you to experiment and find out for yourself. But I can say this. If you imagine the best case scenario and really feel it, if it did happen, you enjoy it twice. And if it did not happen, at least you enjoyed it one time. So either way, you win. So this video is a warm invitation to use this what if question for the positive. I have a practice every morning called reflection, awe and wonderment. The reflection is when I bend back on the day and I ask myself this question, what are three things that I learned from yesterday? So I go back in my data bank of experiences and pick up three things that are completely new. And then I sit in the experience of now and I ask myself the question, what are three things that I'm grateful for right now? And to really feel the experience of gratefulness as I connect with them. And the third thing is wonderment. Wonderment is what if. What if today went perfectly? What would that look like? What if everything fell into place? What if I conducted myself in a calm, confident, joyful, grateful, respectful way throughout the entire day? What if my business was absolutely successful and thriving? What if my relationships were thriving? To really imagine Sorry, embody, feel, experience it as it's happening right now, allow for that to happen, and then say thank you, thank you, thank you, and off you go to start the day. So this what if question can be a big danger, could cause a lot of harm, it could also cause a lot of good. So may this what if serve you in a meaningful, happy, joyful, successful way. Blessings be.